Hey, what's up, Wix here again. Episode 22, Wire in Part 1, remapping the ECU. Let's go. Hey, what's up? Wix here again, carrying on with this STI build. Um, in today's episode, probably the most scariest part of this whole build, for me in particular, um, wiring. There's quite a lot to cover about the wiring that um, I've done and, going, and still going to do. Um, so I've broken it down into 10 parts. So today we're going to talk about part one, understanding mapping your ECU. So I'm just going to give you a few tips um, and also explain a few things that I've done to help the process of understanding your ECU. Um, so on your ECU software, you should have access to a what they call an I.O. table and you should be able to print that out So I.O. for input output table. Um, and that's basically just a list of all the outputs and inputs that your ECU has. Um, and then also on your ECU software, you should have access to the pinouts of where all those inputs and outputs are on your ECU in terms of which pin it is and which wire you need to splice into or remove, etc. So going back to this input table, this is basically just a good plan of all the gear that you've got in your car and how you're going to connect it to your ECU and once you've done this it'll give you a, a good good idea on what you need to do when it comes to going to remove pins and start wiring etc so this is my second attempt at my table my first one I kind of made it to suit the ECU and just put everything one after the other but what I've recently just learned is the more you move factory stuff around the more, more wires you have to move around as well so if you're moving stuff around on here which you can do very easy on the ECU to move stuff around um, but if you are moving that around you need to move your wires around as well so I've made a second plan to try and keep all the factory stuff in its factory position and I'm only inserting the stuff into into spare slots as much as I can now there is stuff that I can't get away from and um, those are the stuff that I'm going to have to move so for example um, auxiliary output one now the factory setting for that is my in-tank fuel pump but because I'm running the version 7 heads and, I'm, and I've got the VVT solenoids to Lincoln apparently they can only go to aux 1 and aux 2 for left hand right hand solenoid so which means I need to move the in-tank fuel pump so where have I put? I've put the in-tank fuel pump down to aux 7 so what I need to do is take that pin out of aux 1 and I need to put it down to 7 so <clears throat> the less that you can do that the less chances you're going to stuff up your worry unless you're confident and go for it uh, but I'm not um, so I've made a little list here now that I've got my plan I have made a little list of pins that I need to remove and put into other locations. Um, so that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to go jump in the car um, along with my pinouts. Um, and I'm going to just follow my list and tick them off one by one. Now by the time I'm finished, everything should be hooked up according to my input output table or my plan. Um, and then once I've done this, then I can start wiring and stuff where it needs to go. So, uh, yeah, let's go. Wish me luck. Let's go jump in the car and do some scary wiring stuff. Alrighty, so 
a few hours have gone by. I love this much as I love sanding. All right, so I've changed, I've cut some wires. I wasn't able to deep in it, which would have been the ultimate option. Deep in and deep in the next one and then swap holes and stuff like that. But so I've had to cut and solder and I'll probably have to do that for the rest of them. Um, and if something goes wrong, I'll sort it out later on. But for now, I've got all my wires ready off each plug. So now this loom here, including those, um, matches my matches my input output table. So now I can go ahead and when I'm hooking up drive by wire or any of this other gear in the car, now I just look for, let's see, what does this one say? So I've labeled it Ox1 VVT left hand solenoid. So I know when that when I run that in from the engine, this is the wire that I link it to. So and when I do when I do link the wires, I'll take all this tape off. Um, but that's just on, so it's just a bit quicker for me when I'm identifying which wire I need to tap into. Um, so I was able to tidy up this loom a little bit. Um, and I'll try while I'm at it, at the end of it, maybe try and tidy up this stuff a lot more. Um, try and get that stuff a bit higher and out the way. But um, yeah, so that's, <coughs> so that's matching the wires to my plan or my IO table. Okay, so this is pretty much the end of part one. Understanding your ECU just a little bit better. So just a couple of reminders, um, if you are going to start adding stuff in and wanting to access your ECU, um, having a plan or input output table is very, very handy. It'll just cut down time and make it a lot easier so you don't lose stuff. Um, it's a good idea to, um, I'm going to hand this to my tuner as well when the car's ready. Um, so when I take the car down to tune, I'll give this to the tuner. Um, and it just gives him a base map of where everything is at as well. He should be able to find it on the ECU, but um, but if not, um, here's a hard copy of it. Um, so understanding your wiring pinout diagrams, um, how to find your pins to which input or output it is, that's definitely handy. Um, also saving the copy before you go start touching stuff like I did, save the copy of when your car was going last with that file so that file of when your car was going the last time save it somewhere so that you know what your original settings were before you go touching it um, i didn't do that so i kind of had to revert back to the factory settings which is this paper here um, i'm 98 for sure percent sure i've got it right um, understanding your expansion looms if you've got some um, but having that plan is, is definitely the one that you need the most. So now that all of my loom is ready to hook up my extra stuff, now I can go start uh, connecting everything. So that's it for part one. Um, part two will be, I've already finished the drive-by wire stuff. So what I might do is I might uh, talk about drive-by wire conversion on part two. Um, if you're new to the channel, um, subscribe to the channel so you can stay linked with all the videos that are coming out. Uh, still got lots of content to come. Um, I'm up to episode, well, 23 will be next, 23 for part two. Um, like, subscribe to the channel, comment if you've got any questions about what I've done so far. Um, otherwise, we'll see you in the next episode. Ciao.